This week's historical figure is Sakagami Ryosho. Sakagami Ryosho was born in 1915 to a family of a successful sake businessman. At the age of 10, he began his lifelong journey of Buddha, taking up the Japanese martial arts of Kendo, Japanese fencing, and Iaido, the art of drawing the samurai sword. Sakagami Sensei had such zest and desire for the martial arts that he would not be satisfied with just learning the way of the sword, but would soon begin a lifelong journey of dedication to martial arts as a whole. At around the age of 19 to 20, he enrolled in a prominent university in Tokyo, Japan, that specialized in producing some of the best kendo instructors known at the time. It was during this time at the university that Sakagami Sensei began to spark an interest in the arts of karate do and kabuto. Sakagami then began learning karate and kabuto under the tutelage of renowned Okinawan Sensei Modan Yabuku. After being introduced to karate, Sakagami became enthralled with the art and went to great lengths in order to better understand it. He would make many trips to Okinawa in order to train with the various teachers from Karate's birthplace. In fact, it was these Okinawan grandmasters who would encourage him to return to mainland Japan in order to train with someone we're all now familiar with, Mabuni Kenwa. Sakagami met Mabuni around the year 1937 and trained under him for a number of years. With his well-established base as a disciplined martial artist, he took to the teachings well, and due to his determination, was awarded the title of Shihan, or Master Teacher, by 1941, just four years of training with Mabuni. But that was only the beginning of this man's achievements. His devotion and understanding of the art was recognized not only by Mabuni Sensei, who dubbed him the third generation leader of Itosu Anko's karate tradition, but also by the most prestigious martial arts association at the time, who awarded him with the honorific title of Renshi, meaning man of discipline. And a man of discipline is what he was, as he attained astoundingly high recognition in not only karate do, but many martial arts. In order to show you what kind of devotion he had, get a little of this. By the end of his life in 1993, Sakagami Ryosho had achieved his 8th dan in Okinawan Kobudo, 5th dan in Aikido, 5th dan in Judo, his 7th dan in Jukendo, which is the rifle and bayonet martial art, his 7th dan in Kendo, 7th dan in Jodo, 8th dan in Iaido, and finally was awarded his 10th dan in Karate Do by the Japan Karate Do All Styles Organization. Now achieving a high level black belt recognition in 8 different martial arts is quite the astounding feat. It's not that it takes a special kind of person to accomplish something like this, but it does take a special kind of mindset. Thankfully, we can always change our mindsets and attitudes. Sakagami Sensei is a great example of a man on fire for more knowledge and truth. We can learn a lot from his discipline in his martial arts career.